One of the few consolations in the pandemic has been the fact that few young people have died. But it can happen. 13-year-old Emily Villegas of Brampton passed away last week. Seen here on her mother's social media page, Emily had been sick at home and was being cared for by her father. To our knowledge, uh, this is the first person under the age of 19 that has died of uh, COVID-19 within our health system. In a region with very high numbers of COVID cases, Emily's father, according to the Globe and Mail, was worried his daughter might be taken to a hospital further away than nearby Brampton Civic, where her mother was already being treated for COVID-19. This is an, a very difficult thing to decide to do, to seek care. But what I can say is, from a reassurance standpoint, if you come to our hospital, you'll get the best care we can deliver. Recently, the rate of cases in Ontario has been much higher for younger age groups, particularly 20 to 29. But the rate of hospitalizations is still higher among older Ontarians, and the death rate remains highest for those over 80. The rate of deaths under age 20 is exceedingly rare. Even with the variants, children and adolescents are much more likely to have no detectable disease or mild disease than uh, severe disease requiring hospitalization. But families must be vigilant. Lisa Brown's two-year-old son apparently got COVID at his daycare, and before long, the entire family of four was sick. The toddler took it hard for several days. He developed a cough and a runny nose, so it took him about seven or eight days to get through the whole process of of getting better. Lisa's family recovered, but it's stressful. I now invite the honourable members to rise. For 13-year-old Emily Villegas, a moment of silence today in the House of Commons. In Brampton, the death of one so young is devastating. Our community is heavily um, filled with essential workers. And in this case, you know, we've been, it's a warehouse worker who their family was doing everything right. They weren't socializing, they were staying home. Health professionals say marginalized communities where essential workers are being hit hard, there is a need for greater health care access, paid sick days, and for vaccines. Emily's death is a tragic loss for the family and for a community that has been hit so hard by COVID-19. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.